Hey YouTube, this is Chris from Versus 3D down here at 3D Printed Canada. We're back with another episode of our Designing a Simple Product in Fusion 360. Yes! Today we're going to do a simple business card stand. Just something you can have on your desk with your cards in it. Very, very simple to do. So let's go ahead to the screen cap and we'll see how I did it. Okay, and here we are in Fusion 360. So the first thing we're going to do is just like everything in Fusion 360, you're going to start with a sketch. So I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to show my origins here. What we're going to do is we are going to create a plane, a sketch on the XY plane. Okay, that's basically the plane that you would consider to be your print bed. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a simple rectangle. So I'm going to go up and hit sketch, rectangle, but I'm going to use a center rectangle. So now I'm going to click on the center point right here, just click, and then move my cursor out. What I want this to be is I want this to be 94 millimeters wide in the tab, and I want this to be 50 millimeters deep. And I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, so the reason I chose that 94 is because a standard business card is three and a half inches or 89 millimeters. So I wanna give it 90 millimeters for the space inside and then two millimeters on each wall for thickness. So for this sketch, that's all we needed to do. So I'm gonna hit stop sketch and we'll go back. Now I'm gonna show the origins here. Now we're gonna create another sketch. This is gonna be the vertical profile of the card holder. So I'm gonna hit sketch and we're gonna choose the YZ plane. Okay, now I'm gonna hide those origins so I don't see those lines. So the first thing we need to do is I need to bring this profile of this sketch here into my new sketch. So I'm gonna hit the letter P for project and I'm gonna select, you can project geometry or a whole body. This time, in this case, we're gonna use geometry. So I want this line and there it is. So then I'm gonna click okay. So now you see if I turn off that first sketch, that line is still there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another rectangle. So I'm just gonna hit R to create another rectangle. I'm gonna start at this corner. I'm gonna go all the way over to this corner and then I'm gonna drag it straight up and I want it to be, we'll say 40 millimeters tall. Okay, and just to show you how this looks, I'm gonna stop the sketch, turn back on the other one and go back to the home position. So now, this is going to be the profile for the whole business card holder itself. So let's go back into this sketch and we'll turn this one off. So now what we're going to do is we don't want the card holder just to be kind of like a box. So we want it to have, you know, some angles and things. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a line. So I'm going to hit L for line. I'm going to start at this bottom corner here. This is going to be the back and this is going to be the front. I'm going to start here and I am going to drag a line up here. And I think I want that length doesn't really matter right now. It's just a line, but I want that angle to be 85 degrees. And then I'll hit enter and there we go. And I'm going to take this dimension and move it over here because I don't really care about it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, create an offset. So I'm going to click this line and I'm going to hit O for offset drag over here, I want it this way. So you see this line goes this way. I want this to be two millimeters, so I'm just gonna hit two. Now, I need this to fill in this space here, so I'm gonna create uh, an extension. So I'm gonna go up under Sketch, Extend. I wanna extend this line. See how that red appears right there? And I still want to extend it even more, so there we go. So now you can see I have a complete profile here. All right, so now moving over to here, the front. So I want to create another line. I'm going to start here in this corner. And then I think we'll go up, we'll say 16 millimeters. 
and then let's make that 30 degrees. So now we're starting to take shape here. What we're going to do from here is create a connection point between this angle here where the card is going to lean back on and this angle here so we can have a side profile because no one wants a card holder that the card slide out the sides. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this line because I don't really need this line anymore. So I'm going to delete it. That way there's no mistakes. I won't miss an extrusion. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a curve here that goes from here and kind of scoops down and goes over here. So now I'm going to go to sketch and create an arc, a three point arc. I'm going to click the first point being here. The second point being the inner part of the wall, not the outside. And then now I get to create the bendy guy. So I think that looks pretty good. So now this is basically going to be our profile for the card holder. So I'll hit escape. So let's go and we'll stop the sketch just so you can take a look. So now can you see it kind of taking shape? This is going to be the outside of the card holder. And we're going to extrude this. So I'm just going to click hit E, click on that profile there. And I want to drag this out. So I said that was 94. So let's go 47. Okay, but we want it to be on both sides. So we're going to change the side to symmetric. So if you want to be really fancy, you could say, we'll delete this and we'll hit 94 divided by two. So now this is the profile. This is the basic card holder. Now what we have to do is hollow out the section for the cards. So now let's go back into our sketch. Turn that one off again. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to give it some solid floor. So I'm going to create another line. So I'm going to hit L for line. And I'm going to just go start right from here and draw a line straight across, making sure it is at zero degrees. Now I want that to be two millimeters thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit D for dimension and I'm going to click on this line and this line and drag it out this way. So you can see now this is what it thinks it wants to be. Well, this is what it is. I'm going to change that to two. So now the bottom is going to be two millimeters thick. So now what we need to do is basically make a line for the cards, because we don't need this all to be hollow in here. So I'm going to make a line that goes from this point to this point. Just by eye, it doesn't have to be perfect. So now this right here is what we're going to cut out. So stop sketch. And we're going to go right there. So we're going to hide the body and we're going to click on this profile here. And then we're going to show the bodies again and we're going to extrude. So I'm going to hit E and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to choose symmetric. And then I want this to be 90 divided by two. And you see how it turns red and it automatically chooses cut. That's what we want. So we're going to click OK. And there we go. So now there's one thing that I wanted to do before that cut that I didn't do, but that's OK. We're parametric modeling. So 
I can go back in and change the sketch and it will change the model right along with it. So let's go back into that sketch. What I want is I don't want this floor to be flat. I want it to be slightly angled. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw another line from here. I'm just going to angle it up slightly to here. Then we're going to take this line and delete it and then stop the sketch. So now as I tilt this, you can see that this, well, let's unclick that. You can see that this is now at an angle. Let's see if I can show you. So you see how that's not straight anymore. It's at an angle. So now the cards are going to tilt back a little bit so they don't fall forward. So here we go. This is the basic business card holder. So it's kind of boring. We could probably fancy it up just a little bit. So let's add some fillets. I'm going to hit F for fillet and we're going to add a whole bunch. We're going to round this thing up. So I'm going to click on all the outside lines here, except the very bottom. You need to do the inside. All right, so we got all these. Let's spin around, make sure we got that one. We'll get this one. And we don't want to do these bottom ones here. And we don't want to do the inside. So I think a one millimeter fillet would be nice. All right, see that's all nice and round. Okay. So there was the basic card holder. You could fancy it up even more. You could add some fancy cutouts in here. You could do more cutouts on the sides if you wanted to. I think what I want to do with this is I want to put someone's name here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this face right here and I'm going to add one more sketch. So I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to hit text. So I'm going to just click right here and type Chris's card All right, but that's kind of big. I don't think it's actually gonna fit. Huh? It will, but it's still a little big. So let's just make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna bold it up. And let's go to eight. There we go, that fits a bunch better. All right, we'll just eyeball it. Seems good right there. Okay, now I'll stop that sketch. So now you can see that sketch is actually right on that face. So then let's just extrude it. So let's hit E for extrude. And we'll click on that. So now the question is, do we want to raise it up? I think I want to cut it out. So I'm going to cut it out and let's hit negative one and cut that hole. And I'm going to hide the sketch so you can actually see it. So there we go. Now let's get it ready to print. So I'm going to hit make. I'm going to click on the object itself. I'm going to send it to my utility, which is Simplify 3D. All right, here we go. Now, here's my bill plate, and there it is. So, I'm gonna add a process, 
and I'm gonna use Jazz. If you didn't see the last video, I name all of my printers after Autobots and Decepticons, so don't judge me. Um, Jazz is my Ender 3, so I'm gonna use that. So let's prepare to print and see what we look like here. All right, so because this is printing at an angle, I feel like two millimeter layer height or 0.2 millimeter layer height is, it's gonna look a little choppy. So let's bring the quality of this up some. So I'm gonna exit and I'm gonna go to edit process settings and go into layers. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm actually gonna change this primary layer height from 0.2 to 0.12. Now when we do that, we're gonna to have to increase our top layers. So I'm gonna double them to 10. The bottom layers aren't so important. We'll add three, so we'll make that eight. Okay, I'm also gonna bump the infill up because I don't feel it will print a nice smooth bottom. So we'll go up to 15 and we'll make sure that that is rectilinear, okay. So now let's try printing, preparing this again. See, that's much smoother. And I think that will come out with a nicer overall print. So let's go ahead and get ready to print. And ta-da, here it is, our business card holder. Look, Chris's card holder. So I printed this in neat filament, uh, just regular PLA orange, clearly. And I think it came out pretty good. I probably should have grabbed some business cards to put in there. Oh well, your business card can go in here. Um, so again, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell. I don't know where the bell is. It depends on what you're using, I guess. The bell could be here, or I don't know. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down in the box down below and I will try to answer everybody's questions. Um, remember, I am not a fusion guru. I just know how to use it as I need to. We'd also really like to get some ideas, something you would like to see done. So if you have any ideas of something simple that might be useful around the house or useful whatever, um, leave a comment, let us know. Maybe I can design it next for you. So anyway, until then, this is Chris from Versus 3D. Take it easy.